We're going to last part of our interview. All right. Yes, we are in Lingua. So, I have read an article uh, which was written by you in Boston Globe in 2005. Yeah. And you mentioned that about the illness of your father yeah. and going to Florida for a um, holiday. Alaska. Yeah, Alaska, yeah. actually. So, could you give me a brief summary of the events in that article? Yeah. The, uh, that actually, that article in the Globe got more response for than anything I've written. The, the Globe still has a, a wide reach. And my, uh, when I sold my newspaper, one of my goals was to take my parents on a trip. Because when I was a kid, they had taken me, my, me and my siblings on a trip to uh, California, which was life-changing for me. It really expanded my horizons. And uh, so when I sold my newspaper, I wanted to take them on a trip. At the same time, my father, when they came back from Florida to uh, up to here to Massachusetts, my father, we discovered my father had lung cancer. And uh, so we went through all these tests and stuff in Boston and uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. And the doctor finally said, listen, we need to operate. We're going to take the tumors out. Uh, part of his lung out, and uh, but go on a vacation, go have a great time. That would probably be the best thing for him. So we went. We had a great time, and uh, it was just great to be with them. My uh, wife and my kids and my wife's kids, my stepkids came on a trip. And we just had a great time. And, uh, my father had the operation. And he's he did great, and he's fine now. Yeah, this is. Good news. Yeah. Um, and you have a ca career also in newspaper publishing and Lancaster Times. Yeah. You were the owner of that. So could you give me details about your publishing career? Yeah. I was, uh, when I was at Worcester Magazine, I decided uh, with my ex wife to start a newspaper in our town of Lancaster because. Uh, it was really being poorly served by the uh, the one uh, little newspaper that covered Lancaster and some other towns. And uh, so we just started. We just started. My, she sold ads. I sold. Uh, I did most of the writing. Quite at the very beginning, I did almost all the writing, except for uh, uh, a couple correspondence. And then it quickly grew. And... Uh, we sat in our, our family room, uh, so I, I was like up all night, every night, just working on it. It was starting a business is tough, but I loved doing it, and it really took off. And my uh, it gradually grew over the years, and I, I got divorced. Uh, my my ex wife and I still owned it together and worked together even after we got divorced uh, for a while, and my. Uh, my current wife, Karen, who you met, is uh, was the editor, and she was like an incredible writer and editor. And uh, I ended up leaving a lot of the that part of it to her, and tried to run the business, and it got so it grew to uh, it did great. We had uh, at one time we had uh, two different newspapers and a, uh, a monthly magazine called Mother Town, and we were doing quite well, and I ended up selling it. For some reason, I got sick of it, sick of uh, doing it. I wasn't quite sure why, but I sold it in 2005 to the Boston Herald, and uh, yeah, that's just what it was. But then I, uh, after I started another magazine, but I had all these different restrictions on me uh, uh, from the non-compete agreement that I had to sign when I sold the newspaper. And the magazine was called Central Mass Magazine, but. <coughs> It, it did it for about a year, and it really didn't, never took off. So that was my publishing career. Um, you also have a teaching career, and right now I think you work in Mary Wells uh, High School. Actually, now I work at uh, Overlook Middle School in Ashburnham. I worked at Mary E. Wells Middle School in Southbridge last year. And you also work at Northeastern uh, Yeah, I, I taught at Northeastern and at Clark for, uh, as an adjunct for... Uh, like five years for each, maybe or something, something like that. 
Yeah, and also I read um, in your interview, I found an interview of you online, and you also say your daughter goes to Northeastern uh, Journalism, School of Journalism. She did, but she just graduated. My daughter, Jewel, was a journalism major at Northeastern. She had a 3.9 GPA. Wow. And she called me up one day a couple of years ago and said, Dad, you know, I, I've been volunteering at a school in Mattapan and I really want to switch majors. I want to become a teacher. So noting the, the, what's the decline of journalism, or not the decline of the quality of journalism, as much as the decline of opportunity in journalism, I told her I thought that was a great idea. At the same time, I was, I was researching Horace Mann for Massachusetts Troublemakers. And I realized that uh, that sounded something like something that I'd really like to do too. So I took the teacher's test, and that's how I became a public school teacher. And I love doing it. I love teaching in public school. I think it's an important thing to do, and I get a real kick out of the kids, and I hopefully I can help them become better writers. And. The awards that you have won uh, in your career, the prizes, uh, could you like, give me the names of some important, important ones? Yeah, the uh, I think the uh, I won I won a bunch of awards with the newspaper. We we won ton, tons of awards. My favorite personal ones were uh, I won like best columnist for New England for our size newspapers when I was at Worcester Magazine and with my own newspaper uh, several times. But uh, the most important ones to me were uh, a couple times we uh, uh, scored well and uh, we got awards in general excellence and uh, we were runner-up for Newspaper of the Year a couple times. And those ones were particularly important to me because those were like about the whole staff, about everybody. And my wife was a journalist of the year for all of New England. Uh, one year, shortly after she started as a journalist, she just, like I said, she just picked it right up. And Karen was just a natural journalist. I and mean, she's a great poet, too. But uh, that was really, that was gratifying to see her win that. But she worked so hard and to do it. a huge success in just one year. Was that? In just a year, uh, she won the... Best uh, Journalist Prize. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just uh, she won uh, Journalist for all of New England, uh, I think in 1998. Yeah. Was, yeah.